Hey everyone, that's Spinach here. Today we're going to be opening up a Lego set 10327, the Dune Atreides Royal Ornithopter. Alright, so it looks like uh, the set comes with um, about 10 bags and um, I'm guessing these are the wings right in here and then um, we'll see what else is in here. We have the nice manual, some uh, interesting, you know, information about Dune if you're a fan of the book movies. And uh, so why don't we get started with the build?
now that we finished the build, let's start looking at the features of the set. And we'll start with the minifigures. First off, Paul Atreides. Here's his normal face. And here's his second face, right? So the other one, maybe this is a time where things are more calm. Probably doesn't have to be holding a knife, more relaxed. We have Duke Leto Atreides, uh, Paul's dad. And here is his second face. Maybe, you know, he's found a lot of spice or something, so... Hooray! Next up is Lady Jessica, Paul's mom. And here is uh, Lady Jessica with the second face, right? So this one's a little more serious, but um, doesn't have the sequences. And she has her hair, so not wearing a hood anymore. And here, showing the, the fa other face again, the original one, with the hair, so you get a better look at the design. Gurney Halleck. He is, um, I guess, sort of like a, a general or someone that supports uh, the Duke. So sort of like his trusted confidante. And here's his face when, uh, I guess, things are going his way. All right. Our next minifigure is Duncan Idaho. Um, he is, I guess, sort of like a master swordsman, killer, like super killer, supporting the Duke um, and loyal. So here's his, I'm killing everybody face, stabbing slicing and here's his second face this is more chill um not killing right now <laughs> next is chani um she is one of the mysterious i don't know if sand people is the right word to use right since that makes me remind me of uh, star wars but yeah one of the people that live out there in the desert and uh, she's mysterious and appears in paul's dreams and here's chani's um second face this is wearing the mask so when she's out there in the desert, right, she can survive. Next is Dr. Leah Keynes. She's a planetologist. And here's her second face, uh, wearing the mask, just like Chani when she's out there in the desert. And finally, we have Baron Valdemir Harkonnen, the main villain, it seems like, from the Dune film films. And uh, he's very tall, like, because... Is he levitating? But basically the way they do this here is um, looks like plastic, right? Stand all the way up. Unfortunately, it's not like three Lego figures on top of each other, <laughs> which I'm sure many of us have done growing up. Um, he does not have a um, second face. Just straight up, straight up unhappy. Old and unhappy. So that's all eight minifigures for the set. So let's look at some of the features of the Ornithopter. Um, first off, you'll see here it has these landing pads, one, two, up front, and then it has this boarding ramp here, right? So we have a dial here that if we turn it, it retracts both the pads and closes up the landing pad. So I guess this is when it's in flight. And then when it's coming down, you can turn it, and they're ready to go. So interesting thing, though, right? If you turn it just a little bit, it'll come out. But if you'll notice, when you put it down, it just sort of crumples again because um, the way the dial works, it needs to actually, you need to turn it, and then you need to turn it a little bit more so it clicks to lock into place. You don't really feel satisfying click, but, you know, once it gets turned all the way, it will stay. So that is an important part of it. Um, next, let's take a look at, close this up. So we have this thing on both sides, right? So there's actually um, a dial as well. And you actually, the best way is to actually hold it on top here. Um, and then you have the same dial so you can unlock the landing pad and everything on both sides. Now let's look at the um, cockpit. So this cockpit, uh, it can open on both sides. So you open one like this, and the other one opens up the same way. And um, it seats two in here, right? And so it's tough to really get in there, but right here we have uh, two seats. So it looks like maybe we can uh, send Paul and his dad, right? Some sort of driver's ed or something. Um, flying and piloting this thing. So let me get them in here. 
So you would seat them in the seat, and then inside here there's just this one white piece that uh, holds the, the platform in place with their sitting. So it's a little bit tough. Okay, there it is. Okay, so it's in, and then we close, and uh, we get ready to fly away. So best way once again is to pick up from the top the back top and then you can turn and close the landing ramp landing pads and the ramp and you're off so in the air now let's look at the in air mechanism right the wings um it's really tough to get this whole thing in the frame um but hopefully this can show you guys what it looks like so on the top here there's a lever ish that if you pull the ring the wings pop out and then you can always pull back and the wings retract so once again pop out and pop in all right now let me uh turn it to this direction now so pop out and then I think if you've already seen it, um, this whole section here, like if you push down on it, uh, it makes the wings move, right? <laughs> so it simulates the flight of the, the ornithopter, like a dragonfly. Right, so that's kind of cool. So we're flying, 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 and then when we land, you know, we can close the wings again. Yeah, these are very large, right? It's tough to tell from this video because I'm actually pulling this thing pretty far back. But I mean, it's if I if I turn this ornithopter vertical, it may be almost as tall as like the Daily Bugle or something, right? Up for the Lego set, so it is a, a large ship. All right, so on to my review and uh, the good and the bad for the set. Right, first off, one of the good things I really liked is the number of minifigures, right? Um, there are eight in this set, and it is not like a super large set, right? 1,300-some pieces. There are several, I mean, eight minifigures. If you are, you know, a Dune fan, I mean, you're probably buying this. Some, I'm sure, are buying it just for the minifigures alone, right? I mean, all these are, are well, you know, they got so many of the characters in. And so, yeah, good value from a minifigure standpoint, right, that people can really enjoy. Next... We like the Ornithopter a lot too, right? So it's got a lot of interactive features, right? With the closing of the landing gears and the, the ramp, the ability to open the wings, right? And then you can actually get them to move. Very cool, right? Very, very playable. <laughs> it's a little heavy to be playing for long periods of time, but yeah, just that it's interactive um, is really interesting. And then finally, the third thing that I really like about the set is um, it's just such a good combination, right? In terms of one licensed product, two all these minifigures, three Technic. Like this is basically like a Technic set um, under a licensed product, right? They spent a lot of engineering hours to design this, and it shows. It's it's really interesting to build, interesting to play with. Um, and then, you know, if you're a fan, then you're probably, like, you know, you can't be beat, really. Okay, so let's go to the bads for the set. So let me show you my first primary and maybe the only main bad thing for the set that I would say you need to pay attention to. So I expand this, and let's say you decide you want to play with, um, you know, the wings flying, right? So notice and focus on this 3 by 2 um, plate here. Right, so if I pushing this to get the wings to move, right, um, this black Technic piece right here or whatever it is is actually nudging against this plate. So every time you push it, right, it's gonna slowly like bend, and then after a while, this thing loosens up. Like it actually gets so loose that it can fall off. So look, I'm not even pulling this off. Like it's actually been jarred loose already. Um, so look, I'll put it on again, and we can count how many times I, I push it. Like, this is like, it's in, right? How many times do I do this before it gets loose again? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14. Now I hear it loose. About 13 or 14. I hear it. You can sort of hear it, like, because it, it's come off already. And I'm not even, uh, let's just, see, you can, you can, it starts to make a noise because the plate is now off and it's just like sitting there due to gravity, right? But it actually is already off. All right, see, so that's definitely, I don't know, to me that seems like a design flaw. Like I've never, you know, built a set where, you know, the moving pieces are, are actually causing a, a piece to, to dislodge uh, from, from the set. This one, it only took it three or four times, and it's already, like, popping off. So, you know, just be aware about that. Um, I think that was the one design flaw that I was surprised to find. All right, so what's the second bad thing? The second bad thing that I... It's not for everyone, but really, this crank here, um, it's kind of tough to get to, right? I mean, it's not... It's okay now when the wings are expanded, but most of the time, you know... You're gonna when you're gonna play it, you're like, oh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to come in for a landing. So you're gonna first retract the wings, right? And then you gotta actually find the this knob under the wings here. So it, it's in a somewhat unintuitive place. Um, so it's tough to get to. But you know, if you get used to it, maybe it's all right. So that one is number two, and then finally number three is. Um, this is minor to me. Again, these are like minor nits, but some people may not like that. You can still see some of the Technic pieces, like blue, you know, maybe some reds here. Uh, for the most part, this is mostly, you know, black and gray, but you can sort of still tell, right, that there are still like red and blue pieces around, and some people may think that, you know, may plan to actually switch those out with different pieces that work better with the color theme. So I give this set a 9 out of 10. Um, it is a great combination with the minifigures, licensed product, you know, all the Technic components, interesting stuff. But really, of course, what's holding it back, um, that design flaw, it seems kind of minor, right, that if you're playing with it and then, you know, the plate falls off. Um, I don't know how many of us are really going to be running around, you know, pushing that for, you know, long periods of time. Uh, it is pretty heavy, right? But even then, it's like, you know, I don't want to be on a plane where I'm flying and then I see like a chunk of the plane just fall off. That would cause alarm to me right, from an engineering standpoint. So um, hope they can fix that. Or if, you know, any of you have any thoughts on how to, you know, maybe we can self-fix this, please share in comments and uh, maybe we can come up with something. And then other than that, really, you know, um, I think it's a great set um, worth getting, right? The new movie's coming out on March 1st, so... I'm sure this set will continue to sell, so you might as well get it if you can. I know the LEGO website is backordered um, for a couple months, but I'm sure other retailers are selling it, so it's probably still easy to find. All right, I think that concludes our review for today, and thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.